is going on, my class boys and class gals, and welcome back to another craft treasure. Uh, this is the what? The grove is the thing is what it's called. But uh, yeah, I was uh, like I mentioned in the last episode or the first demo. Um, there's another. There's two sections. There's the tutorial, and then the mushroom grotto, and then it's this one, which is the grove. I believe is what it's called. Does it actually tell me where I am? Oh. Human. Huh. So there's a skill tree? So I guess... Interesting, okay. So this is stuff that's gonna come before this level. This is gonna be a later level, then it's not gonna be one of the first levels. It's gonna be a couple levels before this where we can... Interesting. I wish they told me I had these. So skedaddle, tapping shift with no directional input will make Krill quickly dish, dash backwards. Uh, spear fishing. Throw your spear at enemies to reel them in at the cost of a barbed hook. Be careful, larger enemies will put up a fight. Skewer, hold. After your shell takes a hit while blocking your next attack, deal increased damage. Repost after pairing. I wish they told me that I had these things. I'm level 12. And we have nothing. But we're upgraded in some fields. Okay. I, oh, I can just block the uh, shell. Interesting. So yeah, welcome back. Um, and this is just kind of us getting back into things. Royal Waves. Subjugate enemies in front of you with a massive swipe of a dug dungeness crab's claw, causing them to briefly take power run to you. You have learned your first adaptation. An attack learned from a powerful creature. That can be used even without a shell equipped. Use it with Q at the cost of umami charges. So I'm guessing umami's the little star looking things okay neat i'll save that for an enemy oh and there's other characters okay i always think it's interesting when a demo gives you access to like a mid game level or like not mid game level but like a mid game area because you don't know what you have you have to like look through it i always think it's weird but it's always like fascinating at the same time once you experience a higher level of play so look who it is honestly thought you might have died in the sands between you know that's not messed up at all no way i'm pretty strong i like your confidence pal and at the very least you made it this far but stuff's gonna get rougher from here you know the grove used to be a real chill village full of lovable country bumpkins real salts of the sea types but anyone who gets the paper knows what happened here right now just 10 or 20 tides ago, a bunch of them went totally nuts, foaming at the mouth, saying all kinds of wild stuff. And once you know, those crazy crabs up and killed all the rest of them. That's horrible. Ah, uh, don't lose much sleep over it. Happens all the time these days. That's... that seems really bad. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. But what can you do, you know? That's life in the sticks. I just count myself lucky for my cozy apartment in New Carcinia. There's... Nothing like that ever happens. Okay, so... Moon snail shell found. Okay. Anyway, enough of that down talk. The old hermit crab said the first map piece is somewhere in what's left of this place. Let's go get it. Let's go... Uh, I can't read. Let's get to it then. Don't get shot, you know? What do you mean, don't get shot? Is that what happened to him? Oh, God. What's this? What can I do with this? I am at the grove entrance. I can teleport. Oh, so you can world travel. Okay, so you can generally travel around the world. So we're in the expired grove, and you can tell. Interesting. Okay. 
Noted. Um, I can level stuff up by getting items, I guess. And it's our shell collection, which, as it shows, because it's demo and it has none of my shells from the other tutorial uh, saved. So we are completely in the dark on this again. But that's really cool, so... Neat. So this guy died in a pretty gruesome way. Alright, I want to test this. Because if we can hook enemies, can I also... I can. Okay. Cool. Umami training. Shell spells. While wearing a shell spell... A shell. Press control to consume umami charges and activate its unique shell spell. Used sh umami charges will generate slowly when you attack enemies. Okay. So tin can. So shell shock. Transmute your umami into a bolt of lightning, electrifying your shell. Oh. Okay. So, okay, so it's electrified. Oh, it's a little ice cream going. That's cool. I think it's fun. What's it called? They call it the water cone. An indigenous shell design, both protective and edible. What will they think of next? Freeze the water around you, slowing in. Interesting. I'm going to keep this, I think. It has a little less health, but... Oh, the cost two is that one. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. Okay, so this guy shoots. Okay, I'm trying to parry. Yeah, parrying is really hard to do. I don't think you can do it consciously. I think you just have to, like, unconsciously just kind of let it, uh, happen. Give me my shell. That was all I wanted to hit. Oh, that's really cool. So, when you harpoon or fish an enemy, you can then put them into a vulnerable state where they can't attack you for a couple seconds. Okay. Neat. This is... I'm starting to get a better hang of it. It's just... Gotta take a sip. Okay, so what does this guy got? What does that mean? Great, so that's another thing I have. Siphonophore. Siphonophore? Siphonophore. An unfathomably large number of microscopic creatures making up this bizarre organism. Okay, so it increases my strength at the cost of. Interesting. Another barb hook. Cool. Give me a thimble. Yeah. I'm a monopoly piece, but oh, an anemone, an anemone, an invertebrate that snares its tiny prey with its many tentacles. They're carnivores. I thought they were like. I didn't know they were carnivores. I'm the Monopoly piece, baby. Let's go. Monopoly! The thimble is the best piece. If you disagree, you're just wrong. Well, that and the dog. Any other piece that was wrong. Okay. What's over here? You see me? What are you. Oh, it's the, um, what are those things called? I don't know what they're called. But it's like the... You put them in water, and then they, like, 
Interesting, okay. I wonder if I can close the distance on him. I'm gonna heal for him before I do that. Because I wanna get that. I wanna see what he's doing. Or, or I get. So that's the real danger of them. They just knock you off the platform. <laughs> No? <laughs> Dang, I really want to see what he had. Oh, and there was a thimble. Jeez. That is frustrating. Alright. I really wanted that hat, so it would be hat, like what they gave you. Darn. So I have Salt Shaker, which just... That's what it looks like. It looks like a top of a Salt Shaker. Yeah. Salt Shaker. When emptied into the ocean, the substance in this container dissolves with seemingly no effect. Some retaliatory glass shards that last for as long as you continue to block. Oh. So it's basically just curl up into a ball and hide. plastic in the shape of a crab's claw. You get some real money for this. Trade it in for 500 microplastics. Are, are those called clothes claws? I thought it was called a clothes pin. Yeah, am I dumb? I swear to god it was called a clothes pin. Is it not? Am I wrong? I'm not... Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, well. It's a... It's a th Actually, I can check, can't I? Bloodstar Limb. A severed limb of a Bloodstar, easily regenerated by the host creature. Contain collect four more to increase vitality. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stick with the thim. What is a thim do actually? Grant your shell invincibility from the next three hits in the box. Oh, okay. Oh. Nope. Nope. Not for that. No. I don't want to do that. Um. Okay. Are those sardines? What, what were those? Down here. Okay, I didn't get the Give me this. Drunken claw. Okay, what is that? Low red cup. Bright red armor used in warrior rituals such as red rage cage. Wherein many crabs are pitted against each other in a life or death fight. That is too funny that they just... Okay. A risky technique that increases attack for a brief time, but worsens your dodge rule and stun dulls your senses. Interesting. And a muscle. It's a, it's like a long clam. Is that really the difference between a 
Is that the difference? Just the long clam? Is that really... It can't really be that simple. Can it? I'm not really inclined to say it's wrong, I just... Well, you doomed us both, man. Oh, I can't really move in this. I shouldn't have dove to attack him, I do admit. Oh, he doesn't get po- really? That's not fair. So I can get poisoned, but he can't? Seems a little biased to me, game, not gonna lie. I mean... It's kinda what I expect from this type of game. Oh, honestly, not to insult it, I just- I expect it from a Souls-like game. You know, that it's like, it's very much against you. Like I mentioned, I've never played this before. An immobile arthropod with a tough shell often found attached to larger structures. Okay. Uh, I don't want the map. I kind of like the the red soul cup. It just it's it's funny. I mean. Bread claw. I like that it's called a bread claw. I don't know if that's actually what it's called though. What is it? What is this thing called actually? A whelk. A tiny snail. Well, snail with a surprising, a surprising affinity for umami. Increases spell charge damage. Oh, um. Isn't that the thing from the SpongeBob episode? It's like a giant rampaging whelk, and it's only rampaging because like it's mutated or something. Right, that's an e that's an episode of SpongeBob, right? Everybody's like freaking out, and it's like, oh, they're actually really sweet. They're just, you know, a little sick. It's like a case of the sniffles, because is what Mr. Krabs describes it as. It's like these things rampage through our town because of a case of the sniffles. I'm, is that not how the episode goes? I feel like it is. Oh, another? Okay, cool. So I lose this one, I can get another one. Can I hook this guy? Or is... Um. Oh! Interesting. So I can hook him. But I have to... Oh! I have to move the map. I'm gonna try this again because I want to just practice it. So. What? I'm wasting all of these up. I have no idea. Let's go for it. Alright, bring it on. I just parried him. So, okay, cool. It's a banana peel. Munch. Do I, can I just eat it to heal? Is that its thing? How much my bet just it heal? Consume some shell health to restore Kuro's health. Kinda called that. Kinda called that. It's like, why would you call it munch? Okay, I know like, I always said all my barbed hooks on him, it's just, I really want to see, like, what is that? Oh, oh, no, wait. How close do I get? Get over here! Did it dissolve by the toxins? I guess it got dissolved by the toxins. 
Okay. Um. Do I just have, I don't really just don't want to approach him to fight them. And it feels kind of like I'm asking to get my butt whooped. Like I'm asking to get my my face punched in by them. All right. I really like that you like can fish and just find junk in like the water. This is really cool. I'm I am enjoying this. This has been 20 minutes. I don't know if it'll be 20 minutes at this point. I might cut stuff out, but I have been enjoying this so much. I didn't realize that it had been 20 minutes since I started the episode. So I do have to say it's entertaining. It's not so challenging to where it's infuriating, but it is definitely difficult to some degree. Can I like climb this? I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to climb that or if I was just tricking the system. I can't carry my pods, all right. Just to put in, like, if it really is called a closed claw or if it's called a closed pit. Because I'm serious, I thought it was called a closed pit. The legend says that these can grant any wish. They're wrong. Oh, okay. Oh. Hold on, let me see if I can get the angle. Ah, uh, if I can jump up here. Oh. No, I'm out of range. I can't get him from here. So I'm not going to probably get him for a little bit. Unless I can find a way up there. Him, I can't yank him. Okay, a little fed up with the guys because that's not, you know, entirely fair. Swim over, please. Christ, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm walking away from this area. So, I died. Really? I'm actually pretty annoyed about that. Oh. All right, now I'm coming. Now I'm up here, so like, I don't think it was. Hair claw. A small chunk of plastic and metal in the shape of a crab's claw. It must be worth a lot. Trade it in for 750 metal plastics. Was it worth it? Alright, was it, was it worth it? You happy now? Didn't want to do it. Hmm. 
maybe do it. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Jeez. You know, I tried being nice. I really did. I tried to let him be. But he just couldn't let it be. Probiotic. Infuse your body with healthy nutrients, restoring health over time. Oh, so I can use this to... Really? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not always in a tanky shell, but it also gives me the ability to heal. That's a pretty cool uh, combination. Shoot at me. How am I shoot? Oh, but you god, okay. Enjoy the high ground. Once I find a way up there, you're gonna regret it. Can I find a way up there? Oh, what's this? oh. I just realized they made a little home out of the milk cartons and stuff. That's really cool. It's weird, so this kind of addresses what, like, pollution is doing to our oceans. But at the same time, it makes, like, a really... Makes you wonder a little bit, you know what I mean? Okay, see? Yeah, I told you you are gonna regret it. Now you regret it, don't you? Now you're a little upset that you're dead. It's not my fault you died, is it? No. I tried to be the nice guy, but nobody wanted me to be the nice guy. Well, fine then. I won't be the nice guy. I'm gonna my probiotic because I'm a little angry. Can't get up there still. I just yank over myself. I yanked something. It wasn't him. I didn't yank him. Oh. Nearly dodged that. What do they call it dodge? You just missed. Is really what it is. Can I? Oh, that's so weird when you look straight up. You kind of go into the ground. Is it a shot glass? Another shot glass. Oh, you jerk. All right. The only thing that I haven't done yet, aside from the, a couple of those guys, is um, yeah! take care of that thing. That, that big lug over there. I don't know if I can even fight him in all honesty. I don't know. I don't know if I want to fight him. I bet I can get you from here now. I bet I can get you from here. I can't, which really annoys me. You know, like, way I like, hook up to that? No? How did they get up there? They don't have a fishing line like I do, so like, how did they do it? They wore pants at a time? What? So they, they were much more civilized than this. Crazy. At least that's something to do with the poison water. Which again, I think is a whole thing on the how like, yeah, the pollution makes for some really great, like, creative things, is like building homes and shelters. But it also shows how, like, it's destroying, um, their little world. Not to get all hyper-analytic about it, I'm just saying. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, so I can change... Oh, I can equip these. I didn't know I can equip them. Increase shell spell damage. MS. What is MS? Oh, so damage. It's like the magic stuff. Defense. Increase my vitality. Um. Oh, I... Gotcha, so I make base stats, and then I can equip these guys along with it to... Gotcha, okay. Interesting. That's pretty cool. And then I can get different adaptations and mix them together to... Gotcha. And this stuff I use just to upgrade. Okay. Way of the true crab, way of the predator, way of the hermit. And then just back to the... Okay. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I can fight this guy, though. I, I still... Stuck fighting him? I think I am. Okay. Well, I got his attention. And he gave him a leading chance. I am stuck. Oh my god. Oh, no, I'm just gonna be stuck. Yeah, I was... I was generally just stuck. There. So... Really bad start. Okay, so that's, uh, there was that amazing shell. This is... Problematic. So it just run away? That's all you can do to deal with that? I'm seeing this is just taking hits from him, but I don't have any more shells I can use actually, are there? No, there's, oh, there's one. This is, um... Alright, 
Okay, I'm gonna die. I wanna die on the edge, I think. I was in the case right on it. Yeah, that's it. Um. Okay. Your barnacle got stranded. Oh. Did I lose my? Inactive while naked. Oh, so I need them. Okay, well, I saw the things I collected. There's no music now. I don't think that's intentional. I think that was a bug. I think something went wrong in the fight. Probably, I maybe because I got so far from him. I'm not really... Not really sure what happened, but um, yeah. have my yeah, I have my barnacle back. Do I have all my junk too? Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna go the other way. All honesty, I'm gonna go back to where um, the other guy was. Fur. Take the hint, fellas. Back off. Try to say it nicely. Back off. What, what was your name? Firth, yeah. I think I said Firth. Um. I have no idea how to fight that thing. I'm gonna level stuff up and I think I'm gonna call it there. Um. Couple of shells, which is really cool. Um, yeah, there's no use now. I think it bugged out, so I'll have to probably close and reload it. But um, I think that's enough for now. All honesty, guys, I'm not gonna make you watch more because. Then it just kind of gets long. I mean, I've been doing this for 40 minutes, so there's plenty to see here. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll finish this area. I don't know if I'm going to go back and fight him, in all honesty. I might do that in my spare time. But as for the video, I think that's going to... Because this is a... I don't know. This is going to be a level that's in the actual game. So I just don't feel the need to include it. So, because we'll come back and do it anyway later on when we actually play the game, the full game. And stuff like that, where the music will bug out, won't be a thing. So I'm going to probably leave it here for now, and uh, we'll come back to this when the game is fully out. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed 
the suffering that was this for me. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode whenever this game finally comes out so we can fully enjoy the full experience. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Okay, so I know I, um, I was going to end the video, but I, I looked around in the settings, and because I, I, I went back to fight him, I was like, can I figure it out? Because I don't know what the red thing means. Like, blue, if you saw the demo, the first demo episode, it's supposed to dodge out of the way of blue because it'll just break right through your shell. Yeah. But, but red, I don't know what red means. So I was like, okay, maybe I can find in the options menu and explains it. And then I saw the assist mode. So I opened it up. Like, what does the assist mode have? And it just, in big, it, right here, just give Krill a gun. And, and this, this is what it does. Just... I just I'm a, I'm a hand cannon now. I You're just you just become a walking gun. So I figured you know Okay, it's the demo, so we can have a little bit of fun with this. Before I completely end it, I want to go grab my stuff and just quickly Oh, so quickly. We're gonna go just shoot him because it's gonna be funny. I, I like that shoot is just in big bold red letters too. It's not even like the other ones where it's like, oh, it's just a, another color. No, no, this is red. Can I? So um, let's grab my junk and then we'll see what this does. Cause I, so I saw this cause I was like, I knew this was a thing they were including for a very easy mode, just a fun, easy mode on their TikTok. They announced they're just going to give him a gun. What does it say? Squirrel was here. Okay. So, um,